Hey, Scoop268 here, gonna do a little GoPro DIY. Today I'm gonna talk about Glide Cam. All right, so I've been on uh, YouTube looking for a Glide Cam. Um, I've seen several things with steady, different types of steady cams, and this is the version that I settled on. I uh, basically took the ideas that I like the best and put them into my own Glide Cam. Really simple, easy to make. I think I made this in, in a day and uh, with paint it was maybe eight hours into the entire project and I spent under 50 bucks. So how did I do it? Here's how. So this glide cam is basically made up of three components. We'll start with the easiest, the base. And all I did for the base was get a piece of two inch aluminum stock and it's two inches wide by an eighth inch thick and I cut that down to seven inches. I drilled five holes, one in the center of it for a piece of five sixteenths all thread, which is gonna serve as the body, and then also the adjustability for the gimbal. Um, that's attached using just some nuts. And then I drilled four holes, equidistant from the center for the, the weights on the bottom of the glide cam. Now the glide cam uh, body is just a piece of five sixteenths all thread. And the reason for that being is that um, this the gimbal needs to be able to move up and down for when you actually are doing balancing. I balance it, I basically leave the weights alone on the bottom once I kind of have some counterbalance to how much weight is on the top and then I can adjust the gimbal on the bottom as far as one of the axes is being balanced. All that is is a roller blade uh, that was trimmed down on the edges, I'll give you a close up, and then I drilled a hole through uh, I, I sawed it off with a band saw and made sure that I left a little bit of rubber on both sides. I used 5 16 inch bolts after I drilled through the rollerblade uh, wheel with a drill press. And then I Forrester bitted uh, rollerblade bearings inside these three quarter inch oak arms. I just basically made an, uh, a little U shape and it's made out of three pieces of wood. Um, that's going to give you access one and access two. Axis three on the back is just a Forrester bitted hole, fit a roller blade bearing in there, and it's uh, just headed off with a 5 16 inch bolt. There's a piece of aluminum on the back that you have to drill big enough to get around this nut, to get around the nut that's in the inside here, but also be able to hold that bearing in place. Then I just space that out. Uh, to get my handle away from the actual uh, arms. That way my knuckles weren't getting hit. And that's just bolted onto a piece of three quarter inch oak.
so for the head of the uh, glide cam, basically what I have here is, I'll flip this over for you, is I bolted uh, another piece of aluminum stock. This is the same two inch by quarter inch, and this one's cut to seven inches long. I, I drilled one hole in the exact center to attach the all thread to, and then I built a macro slider. Now you could probably get a macro slider online uh, for fairly cheap. However, I just built mine out of pine. Uh, I didn't want as much weight on the head, so I used a lighter weight wood, and it wasn't as steady. I didn't have to worry about as much warping with that. I fixed that using four screws. Now the actual uh, macro slider itself is two components. You're going to build a seven inch box or for the outside edge. That's going to provide you your slide back and forth. Um, all I did was take a router bit and drilled all the way through on both sides and that allows me to slide forward and backwards for balancing of the camera on the top. The top portion, if you can see around the camera case here, is just another U-shaped board fits around the outside. You're going to want to make that fit fairly snug and then router bit the top out and that will provide you your sliding back and forth. For a, for the sliding forward and back I just used a quarter 20 screw and countersunk that so it's nice and flush and then on the inside get the handle out of the way you can see that all it is is just washers and wing nuts and that's just a hand tighten, hand loosen. Now this top portion, I'll take it apart for you, is basically the same concept. I used a tripod mount with the GoPro so that it slides back and forth. And then on the bottom, all it is is just a quarter 20 bolt that comes through the top. Um, that's just a couple washers, a wing nut upside down on that quarter 20 bolt. Now a quarter 20 bolt, if you go to your hardware store, all that means is it's a quarter inch bolt with coarse threads. So if you go to your hardware store, the majority of the bolts that you find there are actually going to be the uh, coarse thread. So the nice part about using the wing nut that way is you can get your tripod mount fixed as tight as you possibly can to that bolt, if you hold it tight. Then once that bolt is tight, then you can just tighten up your wing nut And you're ready. So with my test footage, I had this all nice and balanced out. Um, however, I took the camera out. I'm using the camera right now, so it's not perfectly balanced. But like you can see, the test that everybody does, it stays nice and level up and down. And it also stays nice and level side to side. Now, like with any glide cam, you're still going to have the, the pivot here. That's just a, a little bit of getting used to the glide cam and holding the glide cam properly when you're moving to keep that nice and steady using two hands. Um, the one drawback to using a glide cam outside is if it is windy, um, it does have a tendency to kind of blow the glide, glide, glide cam around. So that's where I say the GoPro actually has a hand up on a day like today where it's super windy. I had to get out of the wind to do footage to keep, make sure that it was nice and steady. Otherwise, I'd walk and the wind would keep blowing this all over because there's no friction in the gimbal itself. So hopefully you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll do some more GoPro DIYs here shortly. Hope you like it.